you think that hopes for an easier Fed and some cuts down the road is a good thing for markets? It's certainly a good thing for risk assets. We usually see small caps outperform large caps, regardless of what's going on in the broader market when the Fed is in easing mode. The problem is we're just not there quite yet. And I do worry a little bit that markets have been a little bit too aggressive in the timing of the cuts that are, they expect to come through. What's going on, through. JJ, with the small caps lagging behind? Well, I think part of it and what we saw, if you look at this last sell-off, Sarah, I think part of the sell-off was not that if people wanted to sell so much is that there were a lack of buyers. And uh, part of the lack of buyers, in my opinion, was people turning to fixed income rather than turning to the small caps as a hedge against tariffs. And I think that's been a little bit of the change that's going on right now. And then, of course, if rates do go lower, you, you, you know, many people have turned to those U.S banks before, they don't look quite as attractive. So I think there's some sectors in the Russell that maybe just don't look as attractive as they once did. Laurie, what's your, your view on that? And in particular, yeah. the type of banks that make up the, the Russell and the regional? Well, well when, you, when you look at small cap, you've got regional banks. They tend to be pure plays on the U.S. economy. So they really should have gotten this benefit from the trade war, especially when the Mexican issues were coming up. You know, I, I would actually, you know, say I think small caps lagged recently for a very good reason, which is that investors are starting to question again, are we late? cycle in this economic expansion. Is there a recession around the bend? I mean, we've seen very consistently that when you are seeing a slowdown in economic data broadly, small caps tend to underperform, and that is what we are starting to see. Economic surprises in the U.S. have also been disappointing. That really triggered this last batch of small cap outperformance. So actually, I think you have to ask yourselves in here this reason for the underperformance. Is it telling us something about the broader market? Is it telling us something about the broader economy going forward? The one thing I, I guess I would say is I, I agree with much of what you said, but I think if tariffs do at some point get some resolution, no matter which way you want it, that will actually help overall. I think the the, the fact that tariffs are continued away on people's decision making is part of the big. Well, well I would happened. I would actually argue that we have already seen this. So we just did our big deep dive into small cap and large cap, and we have basically final stats on capex trend, on buybacks trends in one Q. Data is a little bit dated, but it's a great glimpse of what was going on before the trade issues blew up. We basically already were starting to see capex growth go flat, both the growth part of the market and the value part of the market within small cap.